Welcome to the second part of my project on making soft plastic paddle tails. For this video I've been experimenting with weighting and adding hooks to the layers that I made in the last video. And these are really alternatives to the standard jig heads. And although they're a little more complex, I seem to be doing quite well with them on small waters, catching as usual small fish. Enjoy the film. This is a very simple setup I use for pike and other predator fishing. The great thing about it really is because the weight and the hook are already embedded in the layer, it's just a case of on the riverbank clipping on a trace and away I go. On the downside, even with a very proud hook, there's always a greater chance that something like a pike will throw a single hook rather than a treble. To make the setup, I'm just gonna put this to one side. And I'm starting with a, a jig hook. This is a three slash zero. And for weight, I'm using a piece of copper, and this has been stripped from a, from a piece of cable. So first off, to grip the hook in the wire, I'm going to use a pair of uh, standard pliers. And I'm going to start by holding the shank together with the wire and just gripping it. And then to coil the wire, I'm just going to wrap it as tightly as I can around the shank with the hook. It always takes me a few turns to get going. So once I'm happy I've got enough turns on, I can take a pair of side cutters and uh, just trim off. as neatly as I can. At this stage, I could use some epoxy to keep the copper in place, but instead I'm gonna solder it. So I've got my soldering kit together, which is some flux, a little bit of a rag. This is standard electrical solder. To hold my hook in position while I solder, I've got one of these little hands free, and for heat, blow lamp. So first off with my rag, I'm just gonna get a bit of uh, flux and then work that into my copper just to get a, a nice light coat over him. Then once I'm happy with that I can crank up the old blow lamp and get a bit of heat going. It normally takes probably less than a minute to get it up to temperature. Um, I'll test it by just putting a bit of solder on and see if it melts. Yeah, starting to now. What should happen is I should be able to run that along. A bit more length. And it should just. There we go. Then knock that little bit off the bottom there. there Job done. So it's a couple of minutes later. My solder's cooled. And I can get ready to pour my layer. To pour, I'm back with my silicon mould. And to hold the uh, hook in place while I pour the soft plastic, I'm using my little hands-free device. I'm just gonna set that up so my eye is gonna be above the fill level. Then I'm ready to pour. So I've heated up my soft plastic in the normal way with some colorant and I can just pour. A 
and leave it to cool. So this is my current go-to setup for rigging the paddle tail and there's a couple of things I really like about this. One is having this weight low down really makes it stable in the water and the other bonus is this treble as a stinger hook. To make the setup I'm using a wide gapped worm hook and as before I've added some weight by coiling copper around the shank of the hook and then holding it in place with a bit of solder. To add the treble hook I can just simply slide that over the point and to stop it coming back and falling off I've got a little piece of leather this is a washer I've made from a scrap off cut of leather that I've punched out and then just pierced a hole in the center and I'm going to thread that over the over the barb and that should prevent the hook ever coming back up and coming off To rig the paddle tail, I'm going to push through underneath the eye. Uh, this one's been rigged before actually, so I'm cheating. But there, it comes out the front. And then I'm going to measure along to where I want my hook to come out and push through from the underneath. And that should mean it sits nice and straight. If you've enjoyed watching this video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe or follow the link to my channel. Thanks for watching.